जैनर एंड डियर स्टूडेंट्स नाउ आई विल स्टार्ट टूडे योर सेकेंड यूनिट सब्जेक्ट बिजनेस स्टडी क्लास इलेवेंथ यूनिट टू फर्म ऑफ बिजनेस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन नाउ फर्स्टली you should know that what is the meaning of firm of business organization why this chapter involved in your syllabus what is the concept the meaning of the firm of business organization now the firm of business organization means if anyone want to start a business so before understanding this concept this chapter we can explain if you have minimum resources minimum finance so you can start this types of forms of business organization and if you have more finance more business resources you can start this types of forms of business organization so means that if anyone have a minimum resources minimum finance and so minimum availability of the resources so they can start the primary based uh, business organization and smoothly smoothly if they will earn more money they can start a next another business forms of organization means that under this your first topic is that your first business organization is that sole trade now students it is a very simple and it is a very confidential but as you know in india there is a no more resources there is no more money and in this situation you should know that our prime minister say that every time what say every time just they will provide the finance regard starting the new business starting the new innovative ideas so today it is a very important factor for you and me and for everyone also everyone should start a sole proprietorship so what is the meaning of the sole proprietorship you should know that just divide two two things also sole and trade the sole means that individual what is the meaning of sole individual and trade means that selling and purchasing of goods is known as trade means that if i will combine each other sole and trade sole means that individual trade means that selling and purchasing of goods means if anyone want to start individually this activity which types of activity selling and purchasing activity means if anyone want to start a trade if anyone want to start a selling and purchasing activity individually it's known as sole trade there is a no any problem there is a very simple definition sole trade individual trade means if anyone want to do the selling and purchasing activities means that trade means that any types of but you should know that in previous lecture i was explain human activity there are two types of human activity the first is economic and second is non economic activity so dear students i think as you, uh, as you know what is the meaning of economic activity very simple very simple economic activities are those activities which main objective earning money earning profit and non economic activities are those activities which are main objective was not earning profit but there is a objective is 
doing the social responsibility so i think we so in sole trade there is a the, uh, this is the economic activity and when the people are doing selling and purchasing of goods individually and the main motive is that earning profit it's known as a sole trade now you should know that in this the feature of the sole trade now in definition i was explain sole trade sole means individual so if there is a individual people or person is involved so i think you should know that if ram is present in our business and no anyone is here so if the in business there is a risk so who will who will accept it only 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 ram if in business there is a more profit who will receive the profit who will receive only ram so you should know that now and i think the feature is that if ram is individual involved in this business so they have a limited liability because means that if in there is any work any jobs who will done only and only and only ram so we can say that unlimited liability is the feature of the business means to sole trade full control who can control over all, all of the business only ram because ram is individually involved with this sole trade now lack of business continuity lack of business continuity because there is a one person and if they have any problem they cannot survive the business so lack of business continuity now no separate entity means there is a no separate entity what is the meaning of separate individual means there is a no any other person involved so there is a no separate entity means if they have they if uh, he or she can take any types of risk they cannot go a uh, court they cannot do the claim and other people are person what is the reason because in the sole trade there is a only one or individual person now the merit is that listen carefully what is the merit of the sole proprietorship the first is quick decision making i think are you understand what is the meaning of the quick decision making because only and only and only ram is present in the sole proprietorship they cannot discuss with each other and just if they want to take any decision they can take decision understand now the next is that confidentiality of information means there is a one person involved so more confident and more confidential easy of formation and disclose in a proper manner now direct incentive direct incentive means that every profit will be take individually now next is that sense of accomplishment now next point is that limitation limited resources i think you should know that ram is the businessman ram is the sole proprietor so they have no more money they have they have no more resources so limited resources is there now after that the next is limited life of businessman means limited life of business concern now next is that sense of sorry uh, now next is that unlimited liability it is the limitation so one person have they have no more ideas they they have no more uh, just like uh, uh, they have no more ideas they have no more finance so they have no more capacity they cannot do each and everything so unlimited liability is the limitation of the business limited managerial ability just we can say that minimum managerial skill we can say that also why we can say that minimum managerial ability or skill because if there are more people or person means in business if only ram is there so ram have minimum ability or of skill because if there are two or three person they have one idea they have one idea they have one idea mean there are three ideas is there but if i am only ram is there so only one idea is there so we can say that limited managerial skill and i think if minimum ability or ability or uh, skill so business can not uh, uh, survive in a very perfect manner so i think are you understand everyone students every should follow the concept of sole proprietorship and just provide the notes read carefully 
and if you have any problems you can discuss with me in my whatsapp group thank you general